Warning, the following video contains flashing lights at the time shown on this screen, which may potentially trigger seizures for viewers with photosensitive epilepsy. If you have photosensitive epilepsy, or feel you might be susceptible to seizures, please skip past the time shown here, or look away from the screen when flashing lights occur. Reminders will be posted throughout this video. You have been warned. Alright, welcome back to Odd World Dave's Exodus. In the last part, we officially enter the Soulstorm Brewery after quite some time. And uh, we already took, took care of the uh, first two rooms in Hub 1. And in, thi and in this part, we're about to first start things off. We're going to continue on with Zulog 3. Now, I mentioned something along the lines with these uh, bone drill sections. Like, a in the, within a secret within bone works. Yeah, this is another one of those cases where you really need to get the timing down with these bone drills or, or whatnot. Because I remembered, like... Years ago, like, those last set of bone drills that we just ran into, it would take me god knows how long to finally get past those bone drills. Because of how convoluted everything looked. Oh, with, it, with, all, with everything going so fast and all that jazz. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. But, but fortunately, no, we went through that easy peasy, all that jazz. Of course, of course, a bunch of people... Of course, a bunch, a bunch of these Mudagas were pissed off as all get out. So, we got them all feeling better, but now, with these levers on the upper level, fortunately able to turn off, well, most of the bone drills. First, yeah, I, I, I guess for some reason, um, fucking, when you pull the levers, it's like, yeah, it shuts them off, but a couple of them seem to be running to, like, a backup generator, I guess? That's I, I, weird. Why would they only back up a few of them? <laughs> well, 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 listen, I, 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 <laughs> I am going by mere assumptions at this point, because I could only imagine it's like, okay, you pull the lever, all the bone drills are turned off, yet these, yet a, f a couple, two to three of them are still active, but they're moving rather slowly. So... Yeah, I, I don't know why that is. I guess they're just trying to... I have, I have no idea. So the whole backup generator thing, I, I don't know. I, I just I just based it off of that because I remember it's like, oh, hey, there was a mission with Sly 2 that involved, like, going through security, but the searchlights had a backup generator or some shit like that. So... Alright, but, but even so... That takes care of all the Wudakins in Zulog 3. Oh, yep, gotta make sure that I'm on the right track with the with my Quarmer, you know, keeping track of all the Wudakins I've saved. Alright, so Zulog 3 is done. Alright, and now moving on with Zulog 4. Now, Burn. let me see. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Zulog 4. Well... <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, with this Zulog. Let me see that, alright. It's Soulstar Trivia time! How many wire Mudakins will follow you? All of them, until you slap them upside the head. Where's all the Mudakins? How do I get out of here? Keep looking, you yuts! <laughs> <laughs> alright. Yeah, so, yeah, so basically the first port- So yeah, basically the- One thing you have to worry about are the wire Mudakins. So, and, and as we've seen earlier in the playthrough, when uh, Dawkins inhale laughing gas, yeah, not only will they act incredibly crazy or whatnot, but they will consistently follow you. But plus, on top of that, there are these greeters we have to worry about. And as a reminder, if you run into their little sensor beams that they that they keep flashing around or whatnot, they will detect you, they will chase you down, and they will electrocute you. Same thing applies with these wire Mudakins here. So, we gotta get rid of them. And what better way to do that than to take possession of a sling? <laughs> oh, and uh, just a heads up, uh, if you are not careful enough, after some- ap if you're not quick enough, uh, these slings, they can shoot the wire Mudakins that are moving around. So, I just figured. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, I, mean, it's like, well, I mean, it's like usually they don't. Usually they don't for some reason because we have rarely even seen situation run into situations like this before. But uh, but yeah, for, 
It's like it, the slick will sometimes be like, okay, these slick, uh, these fucking Wudakins are really annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him down because fuck it. <laughs> because I felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I t all right, well, okay, the greeter, the greeters are done. Now it's like. Now, here I am thinking, okay, I'm just gonna slap him upside the head or whatever, but it's like, why do that? But I could just save him in, while they're still in a wired state. Besides, slapping him upside the head wouldn't do anything anyway. The entire area is engulfed in laughing gas anyhow. Oh boy, it's slugs. time for more slugs! <laughs> still no sluggies. Hey, oh, you were saying? <laughs> uh, God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Say it into existence. <laughs> uh, uh, a chocolate fudge sundae. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Where'd he go? Okay, alright. Oh no, sloggy genocide. Uh. Uh, j just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, it's like before we, before we can do that, um. Considering where where that one Budokin is positioned now, if if I were to use that possessed slug to pull that lever on the lower level, then the slugs would go ahead. The slugs would go ahead and eat the Budokin or whatever. And and so yeah, that's why I moved the Budokin to the very far back wall so that I could put the spy possessed slug in front of the Budokin mm. and then shoot it from there. There you go. That makes sense. Mm. There we go. There we go. Oh, the horror! No. Oh, oh no! I am so sad. Oh god! The monster! All monster. the slugs are gone. Oh no! You're. Oh my god! I'm calling you a monster, even though I think that killing scraps is perfectly okay. Monster! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> listen, listen, as I established before, those slugs have no significant importance in the plots on like Scrab, so it's like, yeah, fuck the slugs. You monster. <laughs> I... Now, com well, com nah, compared to you, I'm like a saint. Alright, anyway, so so it plays it off as if we were done with, with Zulog 4, but technically we're not done it. Oh. Well then. The hell? Are they being used as wires? Um, no. See, they dangle. Okay, it may it'll go into a little bit of explanation like later on down the road. But um, basically, um, these these Budokins, they they hang from the ceiling under these uh, X tier f machines or whatnot. And they basically electrocute them so that they can be in enough pain to start crying. Okay, again, it'll it'll be explained relatively soon. But but yeah, but yeah, it is kind yeah, it is a little bit disturbing to see Mudakins and such torture like that. I mean, here, I mean, here we are, like, throughout this entire game, we've been seeing Mudakins, like, you know, like, digging for Mudakin bones or whatever, waxing the floors, pulling levers or whatever. Never have we seen that kind of stuff before until now. So it's like, at first glance, it's like, whoa, okay, things, things kind of got a little bit dark. A little bit fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah comp <laughs> compared to the dark tone this series has gone previously, but, you know. I was waiting for you to do that. <laughs> Also, also, I'm really glad that it's like that one slick on the on that upper ledge. It's like he saw me for a split second, shot once, and then just stopped. It's like, oh, I didn't see anything anymore. Oh, That's, but is, oh, isn't that isn't oh. about the other ingredients? Hey, how are we doing on tears? Twenty gallons an hour, boss. What? That is not near enough. How are we going to get that deep, fresh flavor, that smooth, without being bitter? You might as well take out their bones! It ain't my 
bad for, boss. We keep running out of Mudakas. They keep disappearing. I don't need excuses. I need tears. Turn up the gain. Do it. I'm on it, boss. First our meat, then our bones, now our tears. The salty, salty tears. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> But yes, yeah, 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 there was, yeah, of course there was a solemn reason why these Mudokids were dangled like down the ceiling and electrocuted. Yeah, okay, we established earlier that yes, brew, Soulstorm brew was made with Mudokid bones. But the one, the one last ingredient that intensifies the flavor of Soulstorm brew are Mudokid tears. So... Yeah. Now, um, the Gluck now the Gluckin that we saw previously, um, that was the uh, that was the Brew Master Gluckin. Actually, fun fact, um, if you guys remember Mullick the Gluckin, you know the guy who was in charge of Rupture Farms in the first game, he actually uh, used to own Soulstorm Brewery. However, because of his uh, the appearance, as it were, now it's run by this Brew Master Gluckin. And I gotta say, I am I, I, okay. I'm gonna say it right now. That is like the first. Okay, we only see that Brewmaster Gluck in, like, two times. Excluding the time we see him if you get the bad ending or whatnot. But we only see this guy two times. And it's like, I am really disappointed because, I don't know, it might be just like the Saturday morning cartoon-like character vibe I get from the guy. Or probably his voice. But it's like, god damn it. It's like, I... Honestly, I, I'm sorry. I fucking I I, I kind of like the Brewmaster Glucken to be honest. I was kind of disappointed though to be honest when when, when he said when, when he yelled that I don't need excuses. I was honestly waiting for I don't need excuses. I need results. Status. It's no good, boss. I don't know the codes. Don't give me excuses. Give me results. <laughs> uh right. Now one thing that you now. One thing I should point out if you didn't notice, um, yeah, um, after you sit, um, when, uh, Mudokins or Electrocute were, like, shocked on those, uh, X-tier machines or whatnot, yeah, yeah, that does cause Mudokins to be sick, so what I just did there was, like, fortunately there are, like, these Mudokin shamans who decided to isolate themselves on some platform in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> to be like, hey, can you hit me up with some healing powers? And you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, sure, here, have some, here, go ahead, have at it. <laughs> so there, so there you go. Alright, but now that we've uh, gone through, like, the four Zulogs, now we get into, uh, the last room before we can actually press onward to the next hub. P Ow. <laughs> <laughs> that wall, I'm sorry, that wall just comes up out of nowhere, out to the screen transition. <laughs> <laughs> Though to be fair, it, it, from Abe's perspective, he he saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so. T <laughs> that is actually pretty true. It's like, yeah, from Abe's perspective, yeah, it was um, yeah, it, it was definitely Abe's fault. <laughs> All right, now they're now okay. Now they're um. How do I explain this? Okay, three Mudok. All right, there are three Mudokins who are just so pissed off that once again, they're constantly pulling these levers to make to make this section a little bit um tricky, as it were. I guess I don't know. But the one thing you really got to worry about is, of course, the slogs. Well, it's a good thing that this room contains a lot of trap doors. Mm hmm. Oh, I thank God that there's this bag of meat in. Oh, bye. <laughs> that was the last piece of meat you will ever have. <laughs> I mean, unless they eat each other on the way down. If they, if they, if they live. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no, no, way. It's, a, it's not the fall. It, it, it's not the fall that kills them. It's the, it, it's, it's, it's the, uh, it, it's the floor below them. It, it's the floor, the floor that comes right, right after the fall that kills them. Right, 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 right. I, I think that's what I think. I, I think that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> so, all right, there you go, bigger slug. Eat your young while you're at it. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. Slugs are taken care of. Now, for, now, for, now, as we, now, as you saw, as we um looked at the uh, the exit of this room, we're gonna need these four Mudokins to help us turn all four wheels in order to unlock the exit. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I think I, I mentioned this earlier in the playthrough or whatnot, but it's like it's really funny when you're getting the attention of a lot of Udakas, but their voice pitches are completely different. So here I am just being like, Fo follow, follow me. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fucking hysterical. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, other than that, aside from, like, aside from getting rid of those slugs or whatever, it's like, that's honestly it with the, with the final zoo log in Hub 1. Wait, so what would happen if you set them free before you opened that door? Oh, um, well, it's like, oh, well, oh, you better, you better quick save beforehand because... <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on! What? What? Are you able to lock yourself in a dead game by doing that? Wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. God damn it. Hold on. No, no, no. You know what? What happens is the four wheels that unlock the exit. Yeah, they all. Okay, you saw like a slam door to the left of the like second to last screen or whatnot. If you turn all four wheels, then it also unlocks a slam door that will lead you to the other room that has the portal in it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that that was my fault. I I apologize. I I, I must have misheard you. <laughs> Fucking Discord, stop cutting off my buddy. God damn it. <laughs> okay, but anyway, that pretty much do it for this part of Odd Relics Exodus, including all all the Mudakins in Hub One. So join us next time as we begin Hub Two. We will see you guys then.